All right, so this is exciting because we have a brand new soap and we are making Empower today. So this is a mint blend. There we go. All right, so let me get my lye water going and I'll talk you through it as we go and tell you what we're doing. It's always fun to have a new soap come out. At least for me anyway. I just got my boxes printed and they are on their way so I can't wait to see them with the new design. All right, so I'm going to put my fragrance in here and it is a blend of peppermint essential oil, some spearmint essential oil, and a little, um, it's mostly peppermint. And then it goes down um, with the next is spearmint and then just um, a smaller amount of eucalyptus essential oil. So kind of a nice potent mint blend. Perfect for the winter. So in it goes. Mm, I love to smell mint, it's very invigorating. All right, so I'm gonna give this a stir and then we're going to separate this into um, a couple of other containers. So I thought about adding some titanium dioxide and making the base whiter, but I think I just wanna leave it a nice natural. Um, that'll be fine. And then we're going to separate this and pour off um, some of it to make a blue and then some of it to make a green. And I want it to be pretty bright and vibrant, hence the name with the Empower. And hopefully that'll work for us. Let's see how it goes. Mm, it smells really good in here. I'm getting ready to go do a workout class. And again, you know, I've been working this new job, a uh, sales job. So I've been working at that since early this morning and making soap has become a bit of a respite for me. So I'm really kind of enjoying, it's given me like a renewed sense of, um, I'll move this over so you guys can actually see it. It's giving me a bit of a renewed sense of enjoying the work that I do here in the studio too. And plus I have Kim coming over to help me and that has been, a, I mean, a bigger help than I can describe. All right, so let's do that and see how this goes for us. And we're going to use um, kind of a bright green. It's a neon. I don't want to put too much in all at once because I want to see how it will come out first. I feel like that's good. I just want it kind of light and bright. And then we'll do the blue. So with the blue, I'm using an ultramarine. I haven't used this in quite a while, but all of my other blues are a little bit more like sea green, a little more muted. And I want to, I do have one other one I can try, but I want to see how this one does. Let's see how it behaves. <laughs> use a little bit of this other blue pigment because um, this one, I feel like it leaves spots. Let's see what this one does. First one, I just got the other blue on my... <sighs> lined soap mold. So I'll have to take that out. Yeah, I think this will be better. Just stick with what I'm used to. 
get rid of that ultramarine because I'm not going to use that for anything. Actually, yeah, this is good. This is good. I was going to go darker, but now I kind of like this shade better with the green that I've come up with. So let me put this aside and I have to wipe my mold because I just got some of the blue in it. Take this over and we can leave this right here for now. Always like, you know, I use the trash bags. I don't use like the perfectly lined parchment paper because um, quite frankly, it takes way too long to do. I found that I never seem to get it perfect and I've tried it and I'm just not doing it. I have to kind of do what works for me to, to scale and to do larger batches. There's a girl that I went through, um, I guess it was like a, a small business group that I was in and she was uh, another soap maker and she's grown very quickly and is in all these big box stores and she does her soaps exactly like I do so I figured you know what that is validation enough for me so now I'm going to pour in the base I'm waiting to make this soap so I'm super excited about it Let's scrape this out So we'll start with the blue and I'm just going to kind of pour it back and forth. And you can pour at different heights and it will kind of drop swirl it a little bit. So you almost get like a teardrop effect in some places. So I'm starting low and going up, 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 up. And then I'm going to go this way. And I want to save some for the top so we can kind of drizzle some across. Yeah, I really like this blue. This came out nice. So we'll save the rest for the top. There's only a tiny bit. And then we're going to do the same thing with the green. Now, let me give this a stir first. Already it wants to set. It's thick, but it is fine. Nice and smooth. I'm doing the same thing, starting low, going up, up, up. I don't have any soap that's blue and green like this. I think it'll be really fun. And I know my customers are gonna love it. I'm getting ready to send an email out today to my list. Um, so we're gonna tamp this down to introduce new perfumes. So we have three new perfumes and then I'm actually putting um, some doing some new creams as well. And I haven't done those yet. I've just kind of almost finished restocking the regular creams that I already offer and getting my stores restocked. So I'm gonna get um, another batch done. I have to do another five gallons of cream and then we'll do the new ones. Okay, and then we'll drizzle some of the blue around the top. So I'm just going to use um, my spatula. Sometimes I'll do like a more involved design, but that's, again, I'm thinking in terms of scaling and I want everything to just be consistent. So I'm just going to keep it simple and we will do a little bit of a dash of glitter on here. All right, so I'm going to take my gloves off. Actually, before I take my gloves off, I need to take this and put it over. Thank you. I'm going to put some, a bit of blue on it, but I don't know that I want to do that always. So I think I'm just going to stick with my white iridescent. I don't like, I still don't really like this 
pump thing that much because I constantly have to hit it. I'm gonna use my other squirty one. Actually, let's do a little of this. We're gonna hit it with a little crunchy. See what I think of that. And then I might just go back to the regular. All right. All right, so here's our new slab of empowered soap. And I'm going to oh, cut it. So let me turn it this way so you guys can see a little bit. Um, I can't put this over here because I have to have room to push it. So you'll get kind of an angle of this as I'm cutting the slab. And I'll show you the logs as we go. See how everything came out. The colors are exactly what I was looking for. They didn't want them too bright and they always go, um, they always look a little bit different once you do, once they um, process a bit. So here's the top and there's the inside and we'll get a better view when we cut them, which we're going to do in just a moment. Oh, I haven't been excited about a soap for a while, except those decorative ones I did, which we all know the story behind that. So I'm gonna put this over in the sink. It needs a wash. A long way. All of my soap pots. Oh. And then I'm gonna do the soap cutter. So let's see. You'd think after the millionth time I've cut soap that I would open this the right way. All right, so I'm gonna cut them here and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm also excited just to smell the mint coming from the curing room. Oh, see, this is what I meant by the drop swirl. So when you pour at different levels, see how that blue kind of drops down there and like a teardrop? That's what I was hoping to get. So it's almost like raindroppy. Very nice. I'll show you some of these. And they're all different. The green kind of went in a little heavier, but you can see all of the different designs in it. And I'm calling this one Empower because that is one of the sentiments I wanted to express through my products. Um, you know, we've got all of these names and of course the English teacher and me and writer in me loves to name things. So if you kind of go through all of my names, they're Best Day, Energy, Imagine, um, even names like Rainy Day Sunday, and I'll show you some new perfumes in a second here too, um, all have kind of specific meanings. I have morning routine because it's the oats and the honey um, just kind of makes me think of my own morning routine and one of the most important parts of the day to get yourself started is the morning routine. We have hippie chick for our patchouli lovers, which isn't so original, but um, names like balancing act with the white tea ginger. I always think of tea as something that grounds me. And I just remembered I put in a grocery order and forgot to add my tea to it. So I need to do that as soon as I am finished this because I actually ran out of tea last night and almost panicked when I got home. So tea is very grounding, very balancing for me. It's the part of my day that allows me to relax a little bit and step away from stress. Um, as just a kind of a follow-up on the new job, um, there is a lot of stress that comes with it. And I have definitely second-guessed my decision a few times. Um, decided I'm going to stick with it for a bit because things change, right? I'm not used to having a new job. I've only worked for two organizations in 21 years. This is not something I'm accustomed to, so I need to give it a little bit of a chance. Um, we have some different personalities at play, and oh, I love that one. And that makes it diff difficult, but I think it's also a lesson for me in patience, which I always need. These are amazing. 
um, in patience and also in learning to not take things so personally um, and, and learn to ignore stuff I don't need to internalize. So I'm going to kind of take this as, as a learning opportunity for as long as it lasts. And I'll know that as I, as I go ahead. Um, I will be traveling next month and I'm both anxious about it and excited about it. I will take you guys with me on that trip. I love watching like working mom travel vlog type things. So I'm definitely going to create that. Plus it's always kind of fun to come to California. I have a lot of customers in California. I don't know how that happened. I do have a lot of family in California, but um, somehow my customer base really grew in California, in Texas, um, in the Chicago area. And of course I have a, a lot of local customers too. And then you can go all the way down south and I've got a lot in Florida. I think because the creams work well in humidity for people. I think that that is part of the reason for that. Okay, so got some end samples here, which I am equally as excited to send out. And I'm going to let my, uh, my email list know today that the Empowered has been made and um, is going to be curing for a few weeks and will come out soon enough. So I'm going to stop here. I have to um, clean up my, the area here. I have a lot of dishes that I need to do. And then I have to pack up for a store. So I've got to restock my busiest store. I'm going to do that today and then I'm going to go to my son's soccer game. So I hope you guys all have a really good week. It's Saturday here. Um, I'm doing some Saturday soaping now, which I typically don't, but that's part of the new routine as well. All right. So take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Oh, and watch for new podcast videos coming up because those will be coming as well. And you might find them interesting, some of them.